Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and happy Easter to everyone watching who celebrates Easter. And if you don't celebrate Easter, happy 420. I guess to you if you celebrate that. Personally, I do not. But uh, happy 420 to those who celebrate. And if you don't celebrate either, happy Sunday. It's just a happy day in general today. But let's go ahead and jump into the questions for this week's Q&A. I asked on Twitter to uh, ask me a bunch of questions, and I got a bunch of good ones from you guys. So anyway, let's jump into the first ones from LS Gamer. He says, when do you think the new update for GTA will come out? Hashtag Ask Noah. Now, I know a lot of people, myself included, thought we would be getting at least some sort of update today. They actually did a holiday DLC for Valentine's Day and then not to do one for Easter on GTA is just kind of weird. It's kind of like why why was there nothing included in this update? But I guess they just decided not to. They didn't have enough time to do it. Don't really know why they didn't release anything for today because a lot of people thought that the uh, High Life update would come out today being at 420 but they didn't do anything Easter. They didn't do the High Life update. Really nothing came out today and that's kind of surprising but uh, hopefully we'll be getting in the next few days here. I'm hoping by Tuesday because usually they do release things on Tuesday so hopefully we do get it by then but anyway that is the answer to that question so next one up it says what do you think what do you feel the effect of the next DLC will have on the online experience and do you think that coverage will affect your COD fan base so uh, he's talking about the high life update here I think the next DLC will not change anything really crucial except that people will have a lot more money or not a lot of more money a, a lot less money after this update and a lot more cars and garages and places to do uh, different glitches and stuff just because there's gonna be able to uh, have multiple garages have multiple cars, have more than 10 cars stored on your GTA Online character at the, at one time. So that's pretty cool. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money. There's going to be a lot less money going around in the GTA universe, but uh, that, that's just to be expected whenever something new comes out that you can buy. And I'll be covering all the different apartments, all the different stuff like that. Hopefully I'll have enough money for that. If not, I'll just have to go back and do my money glitches over again. And the second part of that is, do you think that coverage will affect your COD fan base? Now, I'm pretty sure my Call of Duty fan base, my Call of Duty side, if you're only a Call of Duty fan, that's pretty much you've come to expect that from me whenever a new GTA update comes out. You can expect to see a couple videos about that, but then, uh, you know, whenever something Call of Duty related comes out, it's definitely going to have some uh, some Call of Duty coverage instead of GTA. So I'm pretty much balancing it out. Anytime something new comes out, I cover that, and I kind of switch back and forth. And I actually covered something new today that I'll be talking about later in the video. So uh, let's go on to the next one here. <clears throat> it is from Luke Smith. He says, how's your Easter been? Mine has been excellent. <laughs> Uh, with a little pun there. My Easter's been pretty good. I've, I've just been hanging out at my college. I didn't actually have time to go home just because I had so many engineering projects, had to work on all those. I did not go home for Easter. So uh, those of you who are spending time with your families today, uh, just just enjoy it while you can because uh, whenever you get to college sometimes you just can't go back and that kind of sucks But uh, anyway, the next one up is from VGC Der Derek and he says what do you dislike about being a youtuber? The only thing I really dislike is that there's not enough hours in the day sometimes sometimes if I'm like going to uh, The park on like last Saturday I went to the park on a Saturday and I was pretty much there all day and that just left me no time to make a YouTube video. And by the time I finished the video, it was super late and I didn't actually have time to upload anything new. So that, that that's just kind of like, it's it's not really something bad about being a YouTuber. It's just you, you kind of feel bad whenever you don't get a video out and you really wanted to just because you were like having fun with friends, you were too busy, stuff like that. So that's the only part I don't like is kind of just being too busy all the time. So the next one up is from uh, Patrick Landa. He says, if you could put one, ga one game mode into Ghost, what would it be? This one would definitely have to be Sticks and Stones. I mean, I know there's no crossbow but sticks and stones from black ops 2 was so so much fun i'm probably gonna be doing some open lobbies of sticks and stones pretty soon on black ops 2 on 360 for uh, anyone who wants to go ahead and jump in so just follow me on twitter for all the information about that uh callum hogarth says if you could add anything to gta what would it be for example a new car or gun now i would definitely love to see a gta hover car now just now just sit back and picture this with me for a second so you're just driving around normal car pretty uh pretty futuristic looking but not like anything super out of the ordinary and all of a sudden instead of like turbo or uh, uh, nitrous or anything like that you turn on the hover feature and the car starts hovering and you can just start flying away with the car like if there's a building in your way turn on the hover just hover over the building go back down on the street on the other side and land I think a GTA hover car would be so so much fun you could just add in some of the physics that you have for like jets and helicopters and stuff just add it onto a car I know they already have flying car mods but just some sort of hover car where you can adjust how much you're hovering you can kind of stay close to the ground or you can go like over buildings and stuff I think this would be an absolutely awesome feature, and uh, I, I, I mean, they're probably, let's be honest, they're probably never going to do it. It's probably, it's probably going to have to be a mod at some point, but 
I would really love to see a hover car in GTA, and let me know if you guys would too. The next one up is from Watch Dogs Central, and he says, do, do you think Watch Dogs could ever be better than GTA? I think that Watch Dogs, we're, we're going to have to wait and see. I think Watch Dogs is not going to have the same, same free roam multiplayer fun that GTA does. However, as a standalone game, the actual storyline, I think Watch Dogs is definitely going to give GTA a run for its money, just because it's so in-depth, there's so much stuff to do, there's so many uh, different ways to go about combat and driving and hacking and stuff like that, and I actually uploaded a Watch Dogs video on my channel earlier, it's an 11-minute video, it has a ton of information, so if you have no idea what Watch Dogs is, it has everything you need to know, that's the title of it, and I'll probably leave a link in the description down below as well, if you want to go check out that video, but I definitely spent so much time on this, I sp probably spent 10 hours on this video, so be sure you go check that out, and leave a like if you did enjoy on that. So the next one is from Luis Mendoza. He says, how can I find out about gaming events, gaming events like PAX East and stuff like that? Now, uh, I guess you can just kind of know the big ones. Gamescom is a big UK one. Uh, E3 is a big one coming up that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be attending. I'm not 100% certain yet on that, but I really, really hope so because I'll have so much exclusive stuff for you guys if I attend E3. So I'm hoping to go to E3. Uh, there's PAX East, PAX, PAX Prime. I don't know, you just kind of have to look around. Comic-Con, I know that's a big gaming event too. Uh, you just kind of have to look around and kind of know. I know a lot of people, if you're on Twitter, a lot of people will be talking about the different gaming events they go to. There's a lot of smaller ones like Minecon, I think is the uh, name of one. Not really sure what all they are, but uh, there's a lot of them, and uh, you can definitely find out about them by just staying up to date on social media and stuff like that and the coverage of different things. So the next one up is from uh, Mac, Mac Krakus, I think that's the way, uh, the way you say that. He says, has college affected your YouTube career, and are you still sad that you didn't go to PAX? Yes, I'm still sad that I didn't go to PAX. If you saw me on Twitter, I was definitely like torn up that I couldn't be there with all my uh, YouTube friends that were there. And he says, has college affected your U YouTube career? Uh, it's definitely affected it, but not necessarily in a bad way. It's just kind of switched around. I used to do videos after school. Whenever I would get home from school, I would make a video and then go do whatever, uh, any homework I had, anything else, whenever I was in high school. But now that I'm in college, I kind of make the videos in the morning just because that's when I have the most time. Uh, my, <clears throat> excuse me, my classes don't start until like 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Uh, most days, and then I just stay in school for a couple hours and then work work on a whole bunch of labs in the uh, in the evenings as well. So uh, honestly, I just do videos in the morning. That's really the only way it's changed, and it's actually allowed me to make a couple more videos that I wanted to. So uh, anyway, that's about all for the questions. Thank you so much for the, everyone who sent it in. If you didn't get into the uh, to this week's episode, I have a lot of good questions. So just be sure you keep asking. Keep, keep at it. You'll eventually get in. And anyway, guys, that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smack that like button, leave a thumbs up, uh, well, I was trying to think of other ways to say leave a like, but that's all I got. Anyway, if you did enjoy, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section down below. What would you like to see in GTA, or what would you like to see in Call of Duty if you could have anything added into the game? Answer those questions, and you have your chance to win a $20 Xbox or $20 PSN card every single month. My name is NoJ456, and I'll see you in the next video.